all that moves but anyway be brought to a stop and that which is still is for always no moment in the existence is perpetual Certain things may be on for a long time, but never perpetual. <clears throat> All that moves is bound to exhaust itself, but that which is still is for always. <clears throat> What? Uh, what's being propagated and what's being termed as meditation is essentially to move towards that stillness to become like the core of existence that you have to strive to become like that if you learn to penetrate it is like that it is not something that you do because doing is moment something that you fall back into because it's from that stillness that moment has originated it is from that stillness that the surface is moment surface there are many kinds of actions many kinds of colors many kinds of reverberance not against it all that you call as life all that you generally know as life is the surface reverberance you have the taste of stillness <clears throat> if you wish you can play the surface otherwise you can just fall back if you do not know the core if you have never tasted the still core forever it's in some kind of compulsive moment believe me it doesn't matter how exciting you find life right now one day you will die i hope that you don't fall off life because you're tired fall of life because you are ripe a fruit should fall off the tree because it's ripe not because it's tired because with ripeness comes sweetness with ripeness comes maturity with ripe ripeness comes new possibility if you're tired fall off. It's not the right way to fall.
swallow from life. So meditation is not an option. Meditation is not a, a fanciful endeavor in one's life. If you do not know how to be still, you can only be ill, there is no other way. You may have different names for your illness. Do you know, in, <clears throat> in 17th century, it was fashionable in England to have tuberculosis. Similarly, there are many other ailments today which are fashionable. Doesn't matter how much pain and suffering it causes, but still it's fashionable. But that doesn't make it right. The choice is only this. Either you learn to be still or you will be in some form of illness. A man is ill only because he does not know how to be still. If he knew how to be still, even if the body is rotting, he will not be ill. So this is not a fanciful option that one takes. If one has if one looks at life and life process closely enough, diving deeper into it is a natural process. Touching the core of it is the success. If failure is the ideal of life, if failure is fashion, Finding full expression to that is just out of question. 